Let's talk about the basics of leveling a uh, Maker Select or Wanhao i3v2. All right, this moves up and down on two lead screws. That's these screws in here. That's your Z-axis. Um, this belt connects to a motor and a pulley. Sorry, this belt connects to a motor and pulley and moves this entire assembly left and right on these two rails. Okay, that is your X-axis. This belt, pulley, and motor at the other end slides the bed on these two rails. That's your Y-axis. Okay, you have to level all three. First things first, get these printed out. If you can make the printer print, get these things printed out, the thumbnails. Trust me, it'll make your life easier. I would also suggest doing this later on. We're going to get to that later. Okay, get it level enough to allow you to print four of those. Install them. It's just so much easier. Okay, now... First things first, make sure all the screws are tight, especially the screws on this, the screws in here, okay, and the screws connecting this tower to this. Also make sure these screws up here are tight, because if this thing is moving, you're never going to level it, okay? First thing we got to level is the x-axis. Tylenol bottle, or actually let me grab one. <clears throat> Get a bottle like this, and put the head in the middle, okay, put the bottle underneath Raise it up high enough. Now lower the Z-axis using Z-Vast until it almost touches this. Inside your settings here, go into quick setting or position Z-Fast. Z okay, when you get close, switch over the Z-Non-Fast, the one without the fast. And you want to be able to just barely feel that bar touch. Oh, I'm sorry, before you do that, tighten these all the way down. Crank them all the way tight so the bed's all the way down. Slide that under there until it just touches. Then bring it over here, do the same thing. Okay, um, if this one is too high or too low, you reach in here and you grab this coupler right down here and you turn it whichever way you need to. I believe clockwise goes up and counterclockwise goes down. Adjust it until it just touches. Now, when you do that, you screwed up this side. So now you got to bring it back over here on the printer again using Z slow. Adjust it again until it just barely touches. Then come back over here, adjust it again. You'll probably have to do that at least three times. Once you do that, once it gets close, doesn't have to be exactly perfect, just has to be close. Once you have it close, you're done. Stop doing that, okay? Now, do not touch this. Do not put weight on this. Do not put weight on this. Do not stick your arm through here and put weight on these parts. Be very careful because you'll mess up this level. Now, what you're gonna do is um, home your Z axis. So go into the printer position home Z not home all just home Z you want the plate in the middle okay unlock the steppers if you have to but do home Z when the Z comes all the way down you're good put a piece of paper on the bed now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise up the bed until that paper is a little bit snug and so you can just feel resistance pushing the paper through okay you should be able to shove the paper in there or use a dollar bill that's fine too um, loosen these all the same amount so one full turn one full turn one full turn one full turn check it one full turn again check it one full turn again or if you know it's got to go away go do three full turns three full turns either which way you want to do them all the same amounts so you're bringing the whole bed up and not one side one side one side one side because if you try it'll twist and your adjustments won't work right so one turn 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 until the bed comes up and just barely touches the nozzle you should be able to successfully slide a piece of paper in there but you should feel resistance you should feel the nozzle touching piece of paper and providing some resistance once you have that done um, then you take the print head slide it over here and adjust both at the same time until you get what you want slide the print head over here adjust both bring it back to the middle bring the bed back to the middle slide the bed back until this is underneath the nozzle adjust until that's underneath the nozzle adjust when you have that relatively close you're done stop now, find something big to print. Find a big square. Uh, uh, make one if you have to. Make a, um, a five inch. You want something twice as big as this. You want the, a circle is best. I prefer circles because a circle you can tell when it's not sticking right. While square will look like it's laying down until it changes direction. So a circle is better. Print a, download a helper disc. Go on Thingiverse and download a helper disc. Just type in helper disc and scale it so it's 150 millimeters. There are 120 millimeters. You know, make it big. Some, out to about here. Then in your print settings, you want to print it at like 1800 millimeters a minute, which is like 20 millimeters a second, something like that. You want like 20 millimeters a second. And then also on your printer, before you start the print, you go into quick settings and change speed multiplier and turn it all the way down, 25%. You want to print four or five skirts. 
When it starts printing, it's going to crawl even slower than this thing's moving right now. And that's exactly what you want. As the circle reaches a corner, you adjust that bed level until the filament sticks. When it gets to this corner, adjust it again. When it gets to that corner, adjust it again. When it gets to that corner, adjust it again. You're going to have to do this several times. That's why we're printing four or five skirts. Because each time you adjust one of these, you're altering a plane, which messes up the other three. Okay? So it's smaller and smaller tweaks as you go around. Now, once you go around, if you look here, this is um, TPU, so it's not the best um, judge here. But um, you want it to be squished. Okay? If it's, if it's flattened out, too flat to where it's transparent you're too close you gotta um, tighten these up a hair to raise the lower the bed away from the nozzle a little bit if it's coming out round like a filament okay or when it's going around it's not sticking it's coming loose you're too far away you have to loosen these to bring the bed closer and you adjust each corner until you get that good relatively perfect squish you want it to not be round you want the filament the filament to be squished but not too squished Okay, if no filament's coming out at all, check the gap. Take a piece of paper. Is, can you get it underneath there? Okay, if you're, there's two reasons filament won't come out. You're either too low, so it's jamming the head against the bed, which will prevent filament from coming out, or you're too far away, which oddly enough will also prevent filament from coming out sometimes, especially at the slow speed. You won't even see it. So sometimes you'll need to actually take the bed and lift up a little bit to push it into contact with the head, and that'll begin the flow of filament because it'll stick to the bed and start coming out, and then you can start adjusting your screws until it comes out all on its own and when you get that nice little squish you can let it print if you want or just stop it you're now done bed leveling and that's what you needed to do <coughs> first thing you're going to do is you're going to print out four of these if you can manage to print those four out first your life will be a lot easier print four of these get four m3 nuts replace the wing nuts with these because these you can just take your finger and move it as it prints i can stick my hand in here and grab that one and move it i can come back here grab this one and move it it's so much easier to adjust the printer um, now, the upgrades I listed, okay? Um, first thing, obviously, print this. And the next thing you're going to print, um, actually, not even print, you're going to buy, you need to buy this Y carriage plate. It, it's, it's, it's so big a difference in, in between prints. This plate is why this printer has so much trouble. If they would just spend the extra five bucks and raise the price of the printer five bucks and use this plate instead of the other one, this thing would be a dream out of the box. So get that Y plate, follow my instructions for drilling the holes and replace it. I would suggest getting the longer um, UL88 whatever bearings, the longer bearings. Ultimate 3D Print Store has them. Um, because you've got to take them all off in order to put this plate on. So you might as well do the bearings at the same time. It's up to you. You don't have to. It will not improve the reliability of the printer. It will improve the quality of the prints. Um, now for reliability, you also need the Z-Brace kit. That is this kit here, okay? There are four feet, you have a foot here, a foot here, and you got a foot in the back each. That's just to bring the printer up to level. So you need to print these four feet, you need to print these two pieces here, and you need to print six of these. That's all you really need, okay? Then also the other link I provided, the tower support, those are those feet right there. That's so that the tower is not hanging in air, so all pieces are supported. Um, while you're at it, you might as well go to the dollar store and get those little felt self-sticking feet and put one on each one this way it won't scratch your table and it makes it a little quieter it's just nicer it's only a buck so get them um get two packs because you're gonna need six for this and four for the box too so your box doesn't scrape everything up um the threaded rods these are quarter inch so i made adapters for them but you want to buy five sixteen inch threaded rod i believe it's 15 inches long a hacksaw will shorten them for you and then also get um you need one two, three, five sixteenths inch nuts, and a five sixteenths inch lock nut for the bottom, so you don't have to mess with that anymore. You thread the lock nuts on the bottom, slide it through, thread these on, thread that on, slide it through the rod up top here, um, slide it through the rod up top here, slide that one on. Don't even worry about squaring it. Just get them snug without moving anything. Just get them snug, and that'll make a big difference in your print. Then when you're ready, get a square on the table and on here. And you can use these to adjust and make sure this tower is straight relative to the bed, which will also improve your ability to level your print bed. I have not had to level this thing in two weeks. I don't level it anymore. I don't have to. 
<laughs> I mean, it's just incredible. I I get rough with it. I I hack at prints to get them off, especially these um TPU prints, which can be a real bear to get off the print bed. And uh, I mean, I've even destroyed Pet G prints, tearing them off the print bed, and I don't have to relevel this thing. A couple additional things I would change. Um, this bolt goes through your heated bed, through the spring, through the Y plate into the nut. Get some fiber washers and a couple of regular washers and a lock washer. Inside the spring there is an M3 lock washer so that when I take this nut off, this does not move. Because sometimes what happens is when you adjust this, this just spins. So you're not really adjusting it. Okay? So um, the fiber washer prevents you from shorting anything on the bed. So nut, fiber washer, regular washer, locking nut, then spring. Then this is the cup I printed. This, along with that locking nut, locking this in place, keeps the spring from doing a little tilt when you adjust it, which will throw off your bed level. So that spring always stays vertical. You print four of those, one for each side. And that's it. Uh, these parts will probably cost you 10 bucks tops. Um, this costs you 25 bucks, and that's all you need to buy. Everything else is filament. Um, you might as well buy a bag of um, longer M312s because they're dirt cheap it's like five or six dollars for a bag of a hundred of them off of um amazon it's dirt cheap they don't cost nothing because most of these you're going to need longer nuts the stock bolts that are in there not nuts bolts aren't long enough to go through the plastic and then into the metal so you need longer um nuts um that's it make those changes and you'll be making amazing prints as well i have some other upgrades on there i have a flexion extruder pain about to get going needed a replacement motor because the stock motor was not only not strong enough but it puked up its ghost and died but that thing is amazing it's a pain but it's amazing the print results are just spectacular i mean here look this is the vice that i printed an actual working vice that i printed on my maker select here's a a single layer of a's i printed in pet g here's a hobby knife i printed all this i printed on this printer Here's a vase maple seed that I printed. I mean, this thing is just amazing. A key fob for my car. I have a Geo Metro. Here's a, that um, Cubify Rook with the staircase inside and that little helix inside there. See it? Yeah. That was all, all made on this. All these parts you see were all made on this. Um, later on, when you get um, ready, if you really decide you like this, get the bearing upgrade. Um, I'm going to do the bearing upgrade up here as well, but a little more involved. I haven't done it yet. You can print out this riser, which helps the drag chain not drag as much. When your prints are printing good, you can print this out. It's got a little pivot wheel up here, so your filament travels straight into the head. Um, get a piece of borosilicate glass. If it says tempered, it's fake, it's wrong. You can't have tempered and borosilicate, so just get a straight piece of borosilicate and a piece of PEI and some transfer tape. You full sheet transfer tape the PEI to the glass and then you use five pieces here, 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 and here in the center to attach the glass to the aluminum after you peel off the old stuff. And then what you do, um, uh, let's see if I can get to it. Right there, your Z switch on the Maker Select is adjustable. Raise it up two notches and that will raise it up enough to adjust your Z stop switch to fit this. Now the other thing I would suggest, that this is something I'm going to do, once you have this glass on here, you don't need these low profile nuts anymore. I'm going to replace them with cap screws because these things strip so easy. I've already stripped two of them. Um, but beyond that, the only things you really need to get are the replacement Y plate, these thumb wheels, and this Z brace kit. You do that and you will no longer have to level this printer. I Again, I haven't leveled it in two weeks. I don't have to level it. There's no reason to level it. It works perfectly. I mean, I've even flipped this printer upside down to install something on the bottom. And these things, these things actually. To install these things on the bottom. And almost dropped it. And I still did not have to re-level my bed. It's amazing once you replace that Z-plate. And then this just keeps your printer from vibrating around. It's, it's wonderful. I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, good luck with your printer.